everyone, welcome back to Roger Journal. I'm Alice. In this video, I'd like to share a journaling process in my junk journal. So this day, I wanted to work with this beautiful embroidered rose. You might remember this piece from the embroidered flower journaling, which was two videos ago, I believe. In that journaling, I used all the pieces from the embroidery article except this rose. So I really wanted to find a place for this gorgeous rose in my journal. And I thought the left page was perfect. It is a bag of vintage leather paper. The green color was a perfect match with the leaves. So I pulled out some of my Daphne's diary stash and this was supposed to make a box I think but I decided to use the botanical pattern to make a pocket on the right page. I'm trying to figure out the layout with die cuts from the stash. This is my September printable. I pulled out a mini doily to place it at the top right corner. And this is my November printable. It has orange roses in the journal kit. So I pulled out a postcard, journal cards, a tag, labels, and postage stamps. So I put the postcard in the pocket and figuring the layout again. I thought it'd be fun to make a rose on the left top pocket so I can put something behind it. And for the pocket, I was debating between the label and the quote. So I wanted to see how it goes if I fussy cut the quote. I couldn't decide where the quote goes, so I just started to glue the things that I was sure about. So eventually, I glued a quote on the pocket and I used the label for the envelope with a postage stamp. by six journal card it was a little bigger than the envelope so I trimmed it to the side And 
I'm stamping a place for a postal code on the postcard with the first of fine ink. The color was Fantasy Sepia and I wrote May 2020. Then I started journaling. Of course, I had to add the threads to the tag. I picked a warm green that matches the color of the leaves on the tag. This is how today's journaling turned out. It is full of roses and interactive and I love the warm colors on this page. And I forgot to write on the label on the envelope. I'll write something later. Enjoy this journaling. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll link the printable kits I used and journaling videos I mentioned in the description box below. Check them if you want to know more details about the printable or want to see more journaling process like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye-bye.